So I was just sitting here in my favorite chair. This is my blue chair. The chair that I, I think Jesus always likes to talk to me. Actually, he can talk to me anywhere. But last night I asked for prayer. I've been doing it, just social media prayer, saying, can we pray for you? And then praying. And sometimes if you focus on all the needs, you can get overwhelmed. And God was just really reminding me not to get overwhelmed. And he took me in John 6 where the disciples saw the crowd and they're like it's late we need to feed them let's send them away and Jesus says you know you feed them and they're looking at like with what you know sometimes God says you pray for them Teresa and I was like there's so many with what I think God likes to take our little and make it much Jesus asked I think it was Philip to gather to feed him and but he knew what he was going to do it was a test it was a test for Philip it was a test for the disciples and they passed the test in that they gathered something the passing of the test was Jesus breaking the bread what I'm trying to say is the the test for you may be the very opportunity for you to find a part of Jesus that you never knew before so I was uh, praying and it really breaks my heart when I see so many deep issues. And, and I, I go to God and I'm like, God, what's the answer? And I love how he speaks to me lately. He's, well, for the last few years, I've been really into John 15. And he speaks to me as the vine dresser. And usually I type these out, but can I share this, just part of it? Because, see, you may be in the midst of a test and, and you may be looking at something and all you see is black or... Or I just asked the question, could it, could that problem and the crisis of your heart be the very thing that God uses to find him in a way that you never found before? So if you asked for prayer last night or you're asking for prayer now, this is just what God, I felt like, said to you. And it's, listen to the vine dresser. My child, give to me what you are intensely clutching in your hands it can only be wrapped in pain and fear. Hand it over to me. In my vineyard I reserve a place for you to sit and be cradled in my tender embrace. As you linger in my presence, the raw edges of that sting from your wounds are removed, making a way for complete healing. Your dreams and desires are always safe in my embrace. What looks like only lack in your resources is simply a test. Take your hand and mind off what little you have. You will pass the test, says the vine dresser. Just as my son broke the bread and fed the huge crowd, he can do the same with your life. What you see as broken, I see as possibilities. What you see as lack, I see as a miracle in the making. Could it not be that the brokenness and crisis in your heart is the very thing I will use to feed others? Part of the vine dresser. Part of maybe a word for you. Thanks for letting me share it. We are on the wall praying for you, believing for you, sharing the words of the vine dresser. If you like this, I have a free devotional I give out. Go to listen to the vine and a little mini devotional I have. Listen to the vine